roadmap initiative, which finished last year, uh, completed the first map of epigenomes of about 100 to 200 different human cell and tissue types. This is an international effort that builds on that initial national effort and goes well beyond. Our own step beyond was to go beyond individual cells and understand the state of tissues, which means ways of measuring state of the diversity of cell types within individual tissues, specifically tumors, where tumors rely on pathological interactions with many cell types in order to progress uh, and become lethal. Previous analysis of epigenomic data of uh, tumors usually uh, were done by looking at the whole tumor as a whole unit without looking at the specific cell types that constitute the tumor. What we developed here is a method that allows us to now, instead of looking at the tumor as a whole only, we can now look at the individual cell types that constitute the tumor and look at what are the changes in terms of epigenomic profile, or meaning what becomes activated or inactivated as the cancer progresses within each one of these cell types, instead of just looking at uh, the whole tumor tissue. Well, without understanding the states and composition of tumors, we really couldn't tell how cells in, uh, engage in that pathological exchange of information. But with the mapping of cell type composition and their states, we can now uh, understand what is it that cells do to each other to promote cancer. We also were able to uh, investigate how different cell types talk to each other within the tumor. So we looked, for example, at the interactions between stromal cells and epithelial cells. Epithelial cells in the breast tumors are the actual cancerous cells. And uh, these cells appear to be feeding off of the cells that are part of the stroma of the tumor. So the stroma, which are normal cells supposedly, uh, are made to support the actual cancer cells and make them grow faster uh, than they would on their own. You know, so far we've been looking at tumor essentially as a multiplicity of cancer cells and trying to explain cancer and identify, uh, identify targets for cancer therapy looking at uh, cell alone. Now we can actually access the interactions uh, that drive cancer progression understand them scientifically and also develop new therapies. These discoveries that we made in breast tumors are nice, but I think that what is more exciting is that uh, you can now apply the same technique to different types of tumors and we are actually uh, working on these collaborations with other researchers here at Baylor to apply this same technique to different types of tumors and seeing what we are actually able to uh, find out 